on a facility assault mission this time because unfortunately the avatar progress just reached doomsday limits again so I need to eliminate this. Um, another bad thing that happened was the assassin sabotaged the Avenger and the negative effect of this sabotage was some of members of the barracks received fear of the chosen as a soldier trait. Unfortunately, two of the people I'm sitting on this mission have fear of the chosen now. My reaper and the assaulter. However, the facility that we're assaulting has an alien ruler as a guarder, as a guardian. Garter. That's bad. Bad language. Um, guardian. And you cannot have an alien ruler and a chosen on the same mission, so I shouldn't worry, have to worry about it. That being said, I'm really counting on my Reaper on this mission, so I purchased a Mind Shield. Because the Mind Shield gives, um, makes it where immune to negative mental conditions such as panic and mind control. So hopefully that would protect my Reaper from panicking if the Chosen showed up and then flipping out or revealing his position. There shouldn't be a Chosen on this mission anyway, though. Um, I'm hoping we run into the Serpent King is usually the one you run into first, and I, the easiest of the rulers to deal with. Um, I am bringing along my uh, British Grenadier. He just uh, recently ranked up, and I gave him center mass, which makes him do one additional point of damage with his rifle, and purchased his wild card ability of lethal, which gives two additional points of damage. So he's doing three additional damage with his rifle, which is pretty darn good. Plus he has formidable, so he has extra armor uh, to ablative hit points. That The ablative hit points are basically shield armor. They can't be... Uh, repaired with a healing kit if they're lost, but if that's all you lose, they don't count as being injured. And who else? I'm bringing my um, only medic that isn't tired right now and his bond mate. South America is where the hunter resides, which is the nemesis of um, the Templar. Now, there's an alien ruler, so he shouldn't show up anyway, but since they're bonded, I'm bringing her along to get experience, and I think she'll be useful for fighting an alien ruler anyway. So, uh, here we go. Difficult, so there'll probably be about four pods, possibly five. I think everybody's equipped accordingly. I have one more med kit. I have three I can bring. And I have the uh, exo suit on my technical, which will give him an extra rocket shot and an extra flamethrower shot for his technical ability. So here we go. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. Resistance contacts tipped us to an alien facility apparently conducting research tied to the Avatar project. We're moving in to take out the site and do whatever we can to slow their progress. Position and place the X4 charges. Then move to the evac point for immediate extraction. Once you're clear, the facility is out of commission for good. Menace 1 5. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X4 charges. Only other uh, items of note. I finished building the radio tower in South America and started to make contact 
with the second territory so I can get the continent bonus. And other than that, went to the um, black market because I had a little bit of intel extra and purchased 163 supplies using intel. Now, on my facility attacks, I always bring my Reaper because they're the best to get in, place the charges, and get out. You can almost solo one of these if you were to be patient. You can almost solo one of these with a Reaper. It'd be kind of tricky, but it can be done. Wow, you guys are all bunched up. So there's two of the pods already. This was a three unit pod. I missed what those two were, but they blinked into existence for a moment. I am on the move. The target is marked. Actually, I, meant to, I thought I told her to move there. I must have misclicked. Okay, so we got three sectoids, a Viper, and an Archon. Anything? I don't really see any higher ground I could get my sniper to. I could eventually get him over here, but that's within sight distance. I'm gonna try to, if we can clear these two pods out, that'll really help. Maybe fight the ruler. Okay, where's my ranger? Yeah, run to excellent. Get him to the full cover. Can you get up here? Nope. He is ever vigilant. So he can do that double move and he'll go into Overwatch for free. That was a great, that was getting precision shot, which is normally a sharpshooter ability, but it came up in the wild card purchasable abilities in the advanced warfare school for uh, my assaulter. Very happy with that turn of events. Roger that. You just get close. As you direct. Roger. Ready to fire. All right, let's go. I might actually go ahead and use the hook and move up to behind this. Do it. Up here. Get behind All right, cover. no problem. That'd be a great spot for my sniper. Because he has uh, damn fine ground now, too. Damn good ground, sorry. So it's plus 30 aim when he's on height. Alright. Come this way. Don't go the other way. Come this way. There you go. For the furthest sectoid. I want to go for the snake. I can't see the snake. <laughs> if 
might seem reckless taking on two pods at once, but I, I think I could get these guys. Especially because a bunch of them moved into a claymore range, too. If I need to, I'll just blow up their cover. That he hollow targets too, which is his wild card ability. So they'll get plus 15 aim. Plus he has locked on. Does that stack? Locked on makes it where uh, if he shoots at the second same target twice in a row, they get a plus 10. Yes, it's hollow targeting and is locked on. Might wait on his shot, because that 15 aim bonus he gives them by shooting at him is very nice. You know what, I'm gonna... rocket these bastards, but first... It does have this ability I never use, Fortify. It has a 5 turn cooldown, but gives a plus 20 defense. It doesn't cost an action. So 30 plus 20 it has now 50 cover. Let's hit these three guys. Take away their cover, too, on the sectoids. That generator might blow up, too. With pleasure. I wonder if he can get them with his... I'd like to get him closer and grenade their cover. I think I'm going to take him out with my Templar. However, I, go where I, am I don't want to activate any more pods by doing that. Looks clear. Okay, so he should be able to do that. It's so tempting to do face-off, though.
might just run and gun him up here. And I might just paralyze him with the uh, arc thrower. I'm coming for you. I'll see what the accuracy is going to be on the uh, Stepping off. shotgun. No, 100%. Or 100% just stun him for a turn. He'll be back up on him. This is my Grenadier. Where the hell are you again? If I run you up to here... Because that guy's going down, whether I paralyze him or kill him. Can you take out those guys in their cover? Can't get the snake, but it should take the tree out, I hope. Excellent. Get off that tree gone. I still can't re can't believe you can't reach him. I might go ahead and have him rend him. How much does he do on a rend now? Only five to six. Eight to nine on him, because he's fragile. I already went with... Dang it. No! I could give a turn to him, too. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Rend. This will get some focus people. as well. Oh! Max Rend, because he dropped some focus as well. Okay. And you will... They're bonded once per mission T work. Give them an action. And I'll just go ahead and Rend again. And I'll be doing plus two bonus damage if I recall correctly. Yeah. It's plus one damage per focus level. You will pay the price. I could just use uh, combat protocol. Or I could even just try to shoot, save ammo. If the snake moves, he'll get blade stormed. She tries to shoot. She might try to use poison attack or something, though. So, yeah. Also, if uh, Viper uses the coil attack, I think it um, it supersedes uh, the uh, blade storm. So we're just gonna combat protocol. <laughs> If I fire, it's only 100%. I can precision shot. It's gonna hit 3 and 4 chance, it'll crit. It might kill him, but I'm gonna be safe and just take the 100% paralyze. It's all in the coil. So, paralyzed for one turn. You go do some scouting. I go where you tell me. I will always find you. I believe this there is would the ruler. be Subject Gamma. Valen created a Viper King. Just what we needed. And go ahead and I'm only tempted to 
actually to get this started, but I'll rest the weapon. And you just go ahead and move up to cover. Already there. That foot, that foot, that foot. I can save ammo, just uh... use your pistol. Two pods down. I got you covered. Gotcha. I'm gonna reload. Reloading. And then I'm gonna steady weapon to get plus 20 on the next attack. And I don't want him to patrol onto him by accident, so you go ahead and move back. As ordered. I'll try to snipe on the uh, ruler. If it's at squad site range, it doesn't get free actions if it can't see anything. to activate and then run onto him. If he throws his claymore there, he probably won't be able to see it to shoot it. My life is in your hands. It's a really useful ability to have, by the way, that target definition for the Reaper. That's why uh, every every enemy that your Reaper sees, once you have target definition, they stay as a ghost. You can see where they're at even when they're out of sight. Okay, you should be safe that far away. I am trusting you. Wow, they can actually see him from there. Okay, you're kind of flanked, so you're just going to go ahead and rend so you can go into, uh... My strike surges forth. I should be able to go into parry. Only the armor. Oh, give me a break. Well, at least Bladestorm went off. Stay alert for rapid movement as it attempts to reposition itself. Is Perry going to give it an extra action? So if that's the case, I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with an acid grenade because it'll do damage over time too. It'll shred two armor, damage over time. No! I should have put everybody in Overwatch before I, uh... I'm sure that'll give it an action. The concentrated breath of that creature is reading at incredibly low temperatures. You are at risk of severe tissue damage if exposed. Good to know, Doctor. It's 
Paula targeted now at least. That would have been bad if it pulled him into the acid. covers 30. If I go into Overwatch, the Overwatch penalty I believe is minus 20 accuracy, so it would actually be 10% better chance. So I'm actually going to Overwatch. Okay. That's bullshit. Hey, you gotta shoot him before he goes in the gate. That was not a bad first encounter, though. We got at least half of its health taken down, and technically nobody got wounded. I believe that the um, ruler might count at towards the pod limit, so two pods down, possibly three, counting the... Uh, Ruler. It's not too shabby. I will go. Let's see what you see through this window. I will reposition. You will never hide from me. Add turrets, not so bad. squad sight on that if I move over to this roof. Come on, go! Go, go, go! Maintaining this area. Is that he can't see. Come on. Should be able to squad sight that. Why can't he? I don't get it. Okay, he can't see the turret from there, but he'll activate it from there. That doesn't make sense. It's because nobody has a line of sight on him? Ah, uh, that's what it is. Volk says I am to obey. That's why. Now he can see it. Eh, go ahead and snapshot. Three quarters, three out of four chance. Eh. Man! I think I'm 
blow that house up. <laughs> Ain't gonna do that, though. That was my ranger. <laughs> I did that because of the uh, ever vigilant <laughs> moving them up because eventually he's gonna go plant the charge, the Reaper anyway, and I try to throw the extraction flare and then extract everybody on the same turn I place the charge. It's not always possible though. Alright. I haven't even used the uh, Claymore yet, which is nice. Double time! sure the fourth pod, oh, I just heard a door, but the fourth pod's probably at the uh, charge planting location. those guys with the, with the claymore. I'd throw it now, but I've had experience in the past of using my second axer to throw the claymore, and then on their turn they move off of it, so... Eh, I still need to have him spot for squad site anyway. Just take out that turret. get up there without Hey, go ahead and move up. Not a problem. By the ladder. On Overwatch. that. Reloading! Yeah, it's gonna be a snapshot. Yeah, it's still 75% chance. Okay, so that's Ain't done. so damn funny now, is it?
also move up over here. Heading out! Position confirmed. Those appear that freaked to be me out. <laughs> No doubt part thought it was a pod activating. Advent well supplied with reinforcements. When it comes to the aliens, it's always one big experiment. It's kind of a dumb spot. I should move him more towards the door. Well, you can end up going over the top. I don't know if the, um... I should have moved him, that was stupid. Templar is worthless back there. You go ahead and move to here. Moving as ordered. And you. Yeah, I took that perk for him. He can critical on Overwatch now. Drop like a sack of potatoes. That's how it's done. Nice shot. Nice shot. I'm 
above it. I don't want to blow up the floor and fall again like I did that time. That was so embarrassing. Might not have to. do that one. When he comes out of sustain, he should be in the uh, acid. Plus it's nice to shred him. Ah, it didn't leave acid under him. Oh well. Uh, my technical had one wrist rocket left, and that should be able to take out that wall. Coming your way! Hey, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Whew. Okay, now everybody will be flanking him, right? How do you guys not see him? Is he like so invisible to everybody? <laughs> well, you can still see him, so Seven hit points left. Well, in that case, a deadly trap. Even with one armor, eight damage, it should get him. What do you mean he can't see that? God damn it! So maybe I can get a grenade on to Man, this is this guy's lucky. Just 
go stand by this guy. I can cover it. He should try to run. Which will get him blade stormed. When he comes out of sustain. Stay frosty. Up here. I can't remember if you could snapshot Overwatch. by that window and have a line of sight, good. Move it! Let's see if you can overwatch and snapshot. You can't. Hopefully this, uh, blade storm goes off. We might just try to shoot, but nope. Why would he be revealed if he moved there? Oh, because the door, duh. I'm not going to place the charges yet. Because what I want to do is get an extraction point set up that everybody can get to in one turn. Which I think I'll do right here. Moving forward. On the move. There's a pot out there somewhere still. It's just an alien activity. Well, in that case... On the move! Watchful eye. Back online. I got you covered. Roger. 
Tagging tight. Let's go. I see everything. Ready to go. Moving to Overwatch. Roger that. That's everybody. Yep. So here we go. Menace one five. Status confirmed. X four charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Roger. Pull up. Humanity's gonna bounce right back, you watch! So, one facility down. One thing I should mention on facility missions, you don't keep uh, corpse loot. You can only get the loot you pick up. So waste blowing up bodies, killing them with explosives is no big loss on a facility assault because you will not recover the corpses anyway. Even now, our enemy lurks in the shadows, plotting to destroy all we have built, to return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them. United in the Elder's love for us, we shall prevail, no matter the cost. We've seen the last of Fallen's little experiment, Commander. Best stay on our toes. It could show up again at any time. Your troops performed admirably, Commander. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens' development of the Avatar Project and give us time to further establish the Resistance movement. Which one's Daniel Moore? I think he's... No, I wish I would just say the nickname, so it's a sniper. I'm actually fine bonding a Reaper and a sniper. They're a good bond because you can send the sniper and the uh, reaper on a mission, use the reaper as a spotter for squad site, and have him do the teamwork action. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bond them. Go ahead and make a little poster. More in he. Come on, that's a cool one. That all looks okay, except for I'm changing this guy's pose.
This just in, in what will definitely be pissing off the elders this evening. Word is spreading of XCOM's great success in wiping another degenerate alien facility off our beautiful planet. Sources credit XCOM's mysterious commander for turning the tide <sighs> against so our evil overlord. Okay, they're only tired for oh, a that's day. that's a cute pose. Three days, it's not too bad. Oh, he's getting along with the skirmishers quite well. Wait, that guy's nickname changed. Or maybe not, because it was Demon, Hellborn, and Judge. I like the guy who's not Hellborn or Demon. I like like hell names is the guy in the red armor. I always prefer to bond the guys that <clears throat> have two two shots like the uh, skirmishers and rangers of somebody else because they can take their shot and then use teamwork on their second action to give to another guy. And I feel like it's kind of wasted when they're just giving teamwork to a guy who can already... I'll have to think about it. Okay, so that bought us some time, but now we need to start I'm not entirely moving sure towards what another I'll do facility. With this world once the elders go about to three. It Good. might make for an interesting game reserve. Maybe I'll just turn whoever survives loose on each other and see how it goes. Well, that one's one, two, three away. Where's the other facility? Way far. Closest facility to make contact with next is Eastern U.S. I'm already making contact here. We can then contact New Mexico. And then I'll be at contact limit. But I can always put an engineer in my comms there. So that's the way we're gonna... That'll be our next facility we target. Plus the Skulljack should be ready soon too. Setting course for Brazil. And with the Skulljack's ready, we can start working down the main storyline path again and lowering Avatar Project that way. It's in Africa. It's uh, lost. So the ones that say the lost, you will, I believe you have Advent on as well. The ones that say lost world are the ones where there's no Advent at all. Uh, this is one of those you gotta pick them up with the balloons. Well, Setting here we go. For sector 13, South Africa. It's kind of annoying. I'd like to get that contact finish before the supply drop so I can get the extra income from that territory, Commander, but it's not going to happen. Aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Frank Martison's actually available for once.
And we are in assassin territory, so I will send my skirmishers, except for the tired one. Covered up. I could send a uh, medic. Huh. I guess he's the only one available for it. I don't want to send my uh, his bond mate on this one because we have to do a mission in South America soon. I want to have her available because she is a. Uh, um, sorry, having a brain fart. She's the ad uh, faction adversary to the hunter. And there's a lost anyway, so yeah, you want a pistol. It's nice to bring a pistol on a lost mission. Just because even though it does very little damage, it doesn't use ammo. He'll run out of ammo in three shots. And even getting the free action, he can reload, get three shots. And then his last action, he'll have to reload again. The pistol he can end up using on the two and three hit point lost and get the most shots out possible. And you're going to bring the axe, which I also upgraded. This will be its first outing. The fusion axe has a 1 in 4 chance of stun as well, so that's nice. Compared to 4 to 6 damage, 10 crit 10 percent critical, it's 15 percent critical. 5 to 7 damage? Oh, okay, yeah, that's, that is still more. Maybe a little unwieldy, but in the right hands, this thing should cut down anything standing in your way. Go ahead and bring a pistol, too. Alright, if I should give him a spider suit. I could really give him insane mobility if I give him a spider suit. It's plus one movement. He's already got plus three from the submachine gun. But it's better on a sniper. I can't bring a pistol, though, if I do that. In that case, no. I might go ahead and just give him the spider suit. Just give him that extra... Help him scout around us. Yeah, that's a good idea.
What have you guys... ...had, like, extra damage on hand grenades? Is it you? It looks like you. No, but he has free, uh, ripjack attacks on adjacent enemies. It's kind of like having, a. Uh, Kind of like having Blade Storm. Oh, you're the new guy. You don't really have all that much going. Time to set this one up. <laughs> and I don't know, his bond mate is out tired. I want them to sync up so that they're uh, both available on missions again. I'm gonna go ahead and bring him, and I think I think I am gonna have him go ahead and bond with uh, this guy. And yeah, go ahead and make a poster. Propaganda never looked so pretty. Okay. I almost brought a pistol on him, but I don't want it. Well... I don't know one thing I'm going to bring on this guy. Let's see. 73 aim. I'm going to have him bring the tracer rounds. But I can't. Who the heck has the tracer rounds? Oh, he does. Do I want to bring him on this mission, though? Yes. Let's go ahead and bring this. Should bring an assault though on this. They make a pretty short work of. Ah, okay. I'm not bringing him because a grenadier is not the best on a lost mission. So I will bring this guy again. I usually don't give a pistol anymore to the rangers because I've discovered their ever vigilant move. When they go into their free overwatch, they use their pistol for it instead of their rifle. But with the lost about, he's going to run out of his weapon real quick. It's good to have the pistol. Okay, I think I'm ready. Guys already, pistol, pistol, armor piercing, pistol and healing, pistol, medic, pistol. Ow. 
I'll bring a couple of grenades just in case. And even him, I'll bring a pistol. Okay, now I think we're ready. It's very difficult, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and bring Captain Falcon at this point. Making sure. Here we go. Oh, exosuit. Should I bring that? Nah, it just shoots the shred gun and stuff will bring more lost. However, ah, don't worry about it. Here we go. I'm going to walk away for a moment because I'm going to go get some soda and hit the restroom. I shall return. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. have a reliable source reporting that Advent has a resupply operation in progress in this region. They're airlifting supply crates out of a secured area, and if we move quickly, we can probably grab a few for ourselves. Mark the crates for pickup, and Firebrand will handle the heavy lifting. I have returned. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. The firebrand will handle the rest. I've made a little bit of a mistake here. I just noticed Dwayne Hicks, Fear of the Chosen. Who else here is afraid of the Chosen? Okay, just him. Also, one thing to keep in mind on these, all you have to do is recover with the Fulton Balloon. One crate. And if you extract, it's mission accomplished. So if the Assassin shows up, I might just do that. Because the problem with the Assassin is you really can't, like, not get hit by her. Unless she gets in a position to where it's really easy to take her out, it's better, in my opinion, to just leave. All you get for defeating her is like five ability credits. Gonna send my scout. That this mobility is so nice. Giving him the spider suit and a submachine gun. The movement bonus is phenomenal. Damage output from the rifle sucks, but I just equipped him with the uh, throwing axes anyway, so.
practically done this exact map before. They're procedurally generated, but they're based on plots. And I have done this layout before. Like Deja Vu, I mean, I recognize this, the locations of these buildings. The only thing that's a little different is this was open. And that, I don't remember that forklift being there, but... I've done this almost this exact layout map before. You gotta love grappling hooks. A useful aid. Very mobile team I have here. Moving far. Very mobile because I just remember two of my rangers can double move. Okay, you go ahead and go there. Go. Go, go, go! Okay. Stay frosty. Grappling hooks, rangers with ever vigilant, and an assaulter. Don't think you can really ask for a more mobile force than this. Copy. Now watch, he drops down right in front of a big swarm. Okay. Be on. I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of surprised how. I haven't spotted it yet. There you go. Ah, bastards. They won't try to airlift out the uh, crates until you, um, until you mark the very first crate. Oh, that's nice. His drone broke the window, but it didn't break concealment. So that actually makes their movement easier. I know. I'm gonna try to get into the side room. I may 
gonna do a risk here. This might if there's lost in this room. But there wasn't. And I had a good feeling that there wasn't, so that's good. Uh, fire escapes are pretty deadly, so if we get into combat with these mutons, I'll immediately evacuate them. I'm thinking about trying to get my sniper set up, squad sight shoot them, pull them towards my people while they're up on the uh, windows. Head there now. See it from there. Solid copy. I'll have to move him around to get the squad side again, but this might be a good area. Why would that? Oh, because he would go outside. be able to get my shinobi up there, get him as close as I can, leave him there for a turn, and then on the at start of a turn, mark the crate, sink, I think this would be a great idea, single move back, or at least double move back. You might be able to even single move back and grapple hook back into here and then move in. That might be what I'm going to aim to do. Let's see if I can get snipe this guy. He can see him good. Of course. <laughs> it was a risk. I kind of knew that would happen. Oh shit, though. I just realized. My sniper, though, is the guy who's bonded with him. This is a free attack, right? Throw the attack, does not cost an action. I can finish him off. Maybe even hit him. See if these guys can hit. Really? Oh, please hit. Whiplash, free attack. Suffer! Oh, I can pull him up here? Nice. I Okay, so you can shoot, and it doesn't end the turn. I think justice ends the turn, so I'm going to take a shot with the first action. And then I will justice him. This justice might just finish him off. Hellboard is badass. I think he's the guy who got three kills on that one mission, too. I 
don't want to move him out on the balcony, because all it's going to do if he does is he'll probably run up, grenade it, and make him drop. Okay, kill this guy, because nobody else seems to be able to. Okay, so I can get him here with a running gun. Full cover. Fire the arc thrower, which will probably miss, but even if it misses, it will disorient him. I'm coming for you! Stepping off! Which, if he's disoriented, he takes an aim penalty and a movement penalty. Which, the aim penalty plus the full cover should be pretty significant. Plus there's close to a 1 in 5 chance you might actually just hit him. Try him. Negative damage. Puppy. And I want you off that balcony because the balcony sucks. I was thinking the full cover behind this uh, bookshelf, but I don't think he'll get good line of sight. It is under my watch. And I don't know if he can really see from there. I'm gonna move him down. He loses the aim bonus, but. Tubular. I think this thing blocks the view down on Overwatch. Be able to see down through that. I don't know, man. We can just move there. Here. Full cover. So if he tries to run that way, we should get some good overwatch on him. Watch the movement. Why, hello. You are very expected. Easy to target from high ground. If we could stay up high. God damn it. Nice! Okay. So it's not automatic that they've panic. The chosen assassin is moving near your position. Stay on guard, people. Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. If we move quickly, we may be able to mark them for ourselves and prevent their airlift. I don't think the lost attack that shows up is just kind of annoying. Oh, he's only got light cover. Of course he can't see. <sighs> I wish I could get one of these stupid crates. Uh -huh. 
It's too bad that they counterattack. Never melee. Oh, he's, is he still disoriented, though? Uh, th okay, you never want to melee a muton. However, if you melee a disoriented muton, they don't get counterattack. Or so I've been told. I feel like it took an ability that melee ignores armor, but I could be wrong. Cutthroat. Or melee attacks against biological enemies ignore their armor. Okay. Is he 100% just... He is disoriented. I'm gonna go for this. And it stunned him! Nice! Go ahead and start moving in. I could use teamwork, give him another turn, and just have him take that guy out. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start closing in. Tired of waiting around. I should have done that, even though he'll go on Overwatch. Same time, why am I close? I just. Uh, I should have stayed up there. I forgot about uh, her weakness, easy to target from high ground. Where's another crate? Oh, uh, we gotta. We gotta move in anyway. If we wanna succeed the mission, we have to get a crate. There's another there. That's gonna be uh, my goal. the eldest for your very birth, your creation at their hands. What a strange comfort it must be for you.
think I'll keep him up here. Scanning. He's got that high ground so, and damn fine ground, so 30, plus 30 aim. Get squad sight lines on a, the train. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. And she, she's probably gonna. Does have the grappling hook. I'm going to do a teamwork move. Roger. Go mark that. Probably activate a million pods. Wow, he actually didn't. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. The enemy should fear us. Okay, mission accomplished. So. Go ahead. Grapple up to here. Roger. Where can you guys all get to? I might drop the flare here. That's a good central rally point. What do you mean, mission fail? Oh, okay. It's because the crate hasn't been picked up yet. Come on! Roger! No trespassers. Ready! Maybe not. Yeah, she's gonna get some. Or not. Everybody who took a shot on that overwatch got a kill. Okay, so... Should be... 
a success. This should be accomplished because I got one trade. Some operatives are secure. Nice. Fire Brand is returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Excellent work. It's just not, in my opinion, not worth fighting her because she's just going to wound people and damage everybody's willpower because of her brutal ability. Um, anytime she makes an attack and it's within line of sight of your troops, they lose willpower, which is just going to make them tired and get bad effects. You just got to pick and choose your battles. Later, when we kill her in her lair, will be the best time. until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the Elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. Precision shot because it gives you a plus 30 bonus to crit and a 33% damage on the uh, hit. And it, it's cool time isn't too bad. It's only like three turns or something. Four turns. Later on, Lone Wolf is okay because plus 10 aim if he's and 10 defense. The aim is what I really like. If he's more than seven tiles from an ally, my snipers are usually out on their own, but not always. So precision. Precision shot I'll use usually three times or more emission. It's a better buy. Eh, not too bad. I mean, that's only one crate. We could have stuck around and tried to get more, but the injuries sustained and the willpower lost fighting the assassin, it, it just wasn't worth it. Besides, we already did a supply raid just the mission before this. And let's see, I got 
trait being removed, Skulljack should be done, and find the stronghold. Get the other two guys level up. Always gotta check after a mission with eight people, because it only shows the uh, number one through six if they level up. That is a good one. I could really use an engineer, but three days to the supply drop. I'm going to see if I can finish the scan before. They're both three days. I doubt it'll finish before the supply drop, but if it does, it'd be nice, because then I'll get that income. Just what are you and the Reapers up to, Commander? I've heard they'll eat just about anything if they don't turn on you first. There were some casualties during that last covert action, Commander. But our troops will all recover after some well-earned rest. We've recovered another crucial piece of information. Nice thing is I got this children. done before the supply drop, so I can get these new orders. Reverent of your abilities, Commander. My followers and your people continue to grow in skill, yeah, and we can be nice. Can take on more Especially with as many people that have fear of the Chosen because of that sabotage mission that went off on the Avenger. I have like ten pe eight to ten people that are fear of the Chosen, so this would be a nice one to have in action. Because it takes ten days to remove a negative trait, so... <laughs> About 10, let's just say it's 10 people I just estimated. It'll be 100 days to remove all that negativity, so I just gotta kind of live with it. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated Oops. them to share some new information on the Chosen. Hey, Commander. And none of the three on that mission leveled up. Could use some contacts. That's a nice one to have too. Increase the chance of bleed outs when they go down. That one's nice. There's a lot of interesting choices here. I still gotta get somebody to major. Ability points would be nice too, though. I'm actually going to go for the resistance contact because I got to start building up contacts so I can get to those facilities. Uh, there's an ambush chance on this mission, though. I can negate the capture, but. good too though. Alright, this one it's only eight days. I, I still can place engineers and if I desperately need to to increase in uh, contacts I can place two engineers, and I can upgrade the comp center, so I'm actually going to go for this one for now. I don't want to risk an ambush mission. And without an ambush chance, I can send lo super low-ranked guys on this one. I'm going to go ahead and send them. So that'll build up their bond together too. And it'll be nice to give him another hit point. I'm not gonna bother sending a scientist because if one of them gets wounded, it's a low chance it'll happen. They don't get gravely wounded on covert ops. I need the scientist to keep my research times down. But this intel will also be enough that we can contact the next region once we, uh, if we build a comm tower. 
So yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. I want to increase these bonds. But this one, the problem is it's my Templar, and I want to make sure the Templar is available for South American missions. And this one would send one of my three skirmishers, and I already have one on a covert op now, so I'm actually going to hold off on those two. And the comm center, I can upgrade it to add more contacts. Well, that's nice. I built this on the... Um, I built that one on a uh, shielded coil, so it didn't cost towards the power. It almost looks like... Uh, even the upgrades don't increase the power yield. I did not realize that. So yeah, adding an additional comm station, it will increase my contacts, plus I can put another engineer in there, which also increases. And in three days, I'm going to have three engineers ready. What's going on here? Ah, yeah. Skulljack is complete. And negative traits removed. So we can send another guy to the... Um, Amon Noaxo. Which one is that one? I know who Sempre is. I have one mind shield, so I can always put that on somebody. I I'm on Noxa, is that my that sounds like one of the skirmishers. Yeah, it's my other skirmisher. I want to keep them available. So I'll send Sempery for now. Skull mining, I would like to have that one because skull mining makes it where your um, skull jacks increase the hacking skill. It's really nice to give your specialist. Um, I still have the supplies, but after the supply drop, maybe. Incoming ah, it was like. A hair from establishing contact. I would have got income for that one too. Leading the resistance is a daunting task. Oh, screw Commander. you, Councilman. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We will have to do better. Ah, they're gonna get a new ability. Getting close to I'm gonna probably want to build that turret defense. This is a terrible dark event when it goes into effect. And as is that one. I'm gonna go ahead. That one's not too good either, but these two are much worse. Excellent. So I completed both of those missions so I can I'm going to do the Battlefield Madness, last only one turn. This actually is a really good one to put out there. The earlier in the campaign, the better. Increases their ability points that they get on each promotion. I already have the will boost. This one's basically what's slowing, keeping the assassin from attacking the Avenger. And I always like having the intel boost. Yeah, I think I'm happy of how this is all set up. 
My followers will obey. Ignore that. Let's go ahead and finish contacting this one. to track the chosen hunter to this region located and now I could train rookies or recruits the GTS to raise them to the rank of sergeant now the only thing kind of lame about that is it only works on recruits I'm pretty sure yeah it's kind of annoying so if you have anybody who's like a squatty or a corporal you can't train them up to sergeant done a pretty good job about spreading out the uh, experience though so I only have five guys that have to worry about that okay go get those supplies I do want to get that engineer too Avenger plotting new course gonna go get those supplies then go for that engineer next, because I can use these supplies to get some more, like the skull mining and all that. Great. So it looks like all three alien rulers are in play. The Serpent King is on the loose. We destroyed his facility. He's about half health. I would like to get to this facility because it has three pips. And when you destroy a facility, um, the amount of pips removed from the project is how many are listed on there. So this this would be a nice one. And it doesn't even have a ruler on it. It's going to be hard to build to that one. So East Asia has, and I think, East America? Yeah, so it's... This one appeared before that, so this is probably the Berserker Queen, and this is probably the Archon King. Those three. Where's the fourth? Oh, there isn't. I can get to both of the strongholds, too. I didn't realize. Very first territory I found the hunter in is uh, strongholds there, too, once I unlock the mission. Okay, so that frees up a bunch of engineers. Maximum power consumption reached. I kind of want to build these things, too. I won't be able to afford the uh, PSYOPs even after the supply pickup. And I don't think I can afford the Shadow Chamber. Either. Well, I might be able to. I might go for the Shadow Chamber. You get some good intel. I like to know how many enemies are in a mission going in. But the, I, I think I can hold off just like one more month on the defense matrix, so... I'll try to go for either the Psylab or the Shadow Chamber next. Now these guys... or anything else limit just yet, so... Every day he's digging, it's getting closer. And I can always pull him to other projects as needed. I don't know why that caught my eye, but what's this? Yeah, it's one of my propaganda posters. Man, so much. I 
Our inspiration did prove beneficial. Okay, so I can upgrade my power plants further. This will be instant, so we'll do that next. And that'll be instant, so let's get the muton out of the way. Central Officer Brad, the aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring ah, down a muton. Wanna... I'm getting so many options available to me now, and I'm so low on resources. <laughs> Another instant. Go for careful it. Exam okay, this is nice for long war. I can upgrade my technicals gauntlet now. It's not cost f feasible at the moment, though. Um, it cost to upgrade the gauntlet for him would cost two Illyrium cores and like 200 or something supplies. I only have one technical. If I had more technicals, it'd be worth dumping the money into at the moment, but not yet. <laughs> that one's a nice effect. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna instantly jump to, uh, plasma rifles so we can get that you just on legendary you want to get the damage output as soon as you can okay now we want this engineer planning new course We can start construction on the Shadow Chamber whenever you're ready, Commander. I can build a Shadow Chamber. Or... New orders, Commander? We still need to upgrade that. I only have the one guy, though. It's the only reason I haven't upgraded this. It cost 300. I don't have enough. It's like you can upgrade one of these things. Or 120. Yeah, if you upgrade... I guess it's only one Illyrium core. The Mark II gauntlet for the uh, technicals. It'll increase the damage of the rocket and flamethrower. Maybe even the range. But I only have one technical. This is the same reason I haven't upgraded my mag cannon. I only have one gunner, and he's really low ranked. I only have one grenadier. Actually, I do have two grenadiers. The one's. Uh, he's just a squatty, though. At one point, I thought about trying to bring in an advent mech to see if we could integrate the gremlin AI. I actually the idea think being skull mining or. Plasma I eventually decided be not to bring it up to Central or Tigan, at least not until things settle down some. 125 and the plasma grenades is 225. I can afford both of these. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. nice to have once the robots start showing up, which they have, but it's only going to get worse. Okay, so we've got a lot in the quo going on now. Got a lot of proving ground projects going on, building towards our plasma rifles. We just got to get some intel, because we're down to one, and we need to get some supplies. Hopefully, uh, there'll be some good, uh, covert ops now this month. We will undertake a new means of disrupting the Elders and their false vision. I still need a Major.
that is I'm going to go for this between the eyes when you have uh, this one it makes the lost missions are so trivial after that ambush chance is low Since there is a slight chance of ambush, I will send my Reaper. The reason why, and I'll keep the mind shield on him. If it all goes south, I can pretty much sneak him through and extract if they get ambushed and as long as you extract one guy completes the mission now do I want to send another shinobi because he can sneak around too Might send Neutron under one circumstance. Does he have covert? Gives him a smaller detection range. So, and I think it's passive. I might go ahead and send him. I was hoping he'd have, um, but I think they get in a captain or major. Shinobis can also get the ability where they uh, they can I'm having a total brain fart. They can um, disappear. They can become hidden again. But he doesn't have that yet. That'll make the det him less detectable. So, I'm going to send him. And I actually will put him in that slot for the health. My Reapers almost never reveal themselves, so the health is more important to, <coughs> to a Shinobi, because I do end up once they're revealed using them for melee combat pretty extensively. I don't think I want to risk the arc, the axe being lost. willing to risk the spider suit because it'll give him extra movement. That mobility of the hook, the plus four movement from the spider suit and the stutter mag, and they have 25% less detection range, hopefully he can sneak around. Now you don't begin an ambush it concealed, but shinobis still appear concealed and so do the reapers. So. It's a medium chance these guys will get ambushed. If they do, I think they can still get out of there. Almost forgot to do that. Oh, it's a low chance of ambush. It was moderate for wounding. Job done. Don't worry, Commander. Another negative trait removed. I guess I have all my skirmishers back now, so I'll send this one to remove that trait, because I have two available now.
Nice, okay. I've created my grenades. Or at least my plasma. Advanced explosives don't have enough supplies. But that upgrades the damage to all of your other grenades that aren't plasma. Plus I think it also boosts the damage on your plasma as well. So that, once I do have money coming in, that'll be probably my next um, foundry project. Michael Lutz, huh? useful. I need supplies though. I need supplies and intel. Okay, so this engineer, you're gonna go ahead and start help digging, helping with the digging here. At the end of this month, I have that dig faster covert op from the Reapers. I can, at the end of the month, I'll remove that one and put the between the eyes. And I'm confident that covert op will succeed on. So one of the ways I can get intel, I could also just scan at the um, Reaper HQ. But do I want to do that, or do I want to just go for these supplies? Yeah, I need the supplies. Avenger plotting and my course. next few missions, I think what I'm going to do... Either scan for more supplies, so I can build a comm tower up here to lower that cost of contact, or I might start doing uh, covert ops with intel rewards. Now, I don't have time to do another mission tonight, so I'm going to have to cut it short. Oh, that's a nice one to have. In 107 intel. And I do want to counter that. That's probably the one we're going to do. Actually, we get a technical would be nice. That's the least scary, the least bad of the dark events that could happen. But it's also very difficult and it's a hack. What do I do in New Brazil? Recover an item. East Africa is the lost sabotage a transmitter. Get a scientist. Oh, I'd really like to. I hate this one. This is the one I'd really like to counter. But this one, I think I could deal with not being concealed, because my Reapers and Shinobis will still be concealed, and I can use them for my scouting. This one, we start stealth, timer doesn't go down until we're revealed. It's difficult, instead of very difficult, so it'll be like one less pod, and we get a lot of intel, so this is definitely the one. Setting course for the Brazilian I'll set the mission up, but then I gotta back out, I'm not gonna actually launch it. It is South America, so I will be bringing my Templar. I guess that's her bond mate, so he can come. Go ahead and bring him.
Where's my other shinobi? There you are. are worth two armor now. I'll let him wear that since he's going to be a, ending up in close combat. And I want to protect those axes because uh, if the unit carrying him dies, you lose them. And I guess go ahead and bring a plasma grenade. No hack bonus on the Skulljack yet. But I'll start bringing that. If the opportunity arises to hack an officer, Plasma grenades do more than the acid grenade, so... Holy crap, they shred four? They shred as much as an acid grenade, but they do more damage. And they destroy cover, so there's no reason to bring the acid grenades until I upgrade the uh, all my other grenades at the foundry. So he'll have, because his grenade slot doubles him, that's two, then he has another, that's three grenades. Actually, this guy's pretty darn accurate as it is. thinking because my technical has shred now. I'd almost rather give him the aim bonus to make sure he hits and shreds armor. Especially because when he shoots at a target, that hollow targeting ability, I believe shot, hit or miss, gives a plus 15 aim to everybody else. So it doesn't even have to hit to take effect. I don't want to give him a pistol, though. <laughs> Where's the other med kit? I should have three med kits. Did I give a med kit to one of the guys just one on the covert off? I don't want to give him a pistol because if he does his ever vigilant move, it makes him overwatch with the wimpy pistol. Yeah, 
give him the uh, tracers. And he has snapshot, so... Let's take that grenade. Any of these guys have fear of the Chosen. Looks like this group is okay. Yeah, Simpri just got cured of it, that's right. Yeah, so this group, if they run into the Hunter, at least nobody's gonna panic. And I have the Covert, or not Covert Op, but the Resistance Order that makes it where if they panic it will only last one turn. So this will definitely be the best, this is the best setup for this mission. We Timer doesn't start until revealed. 107 intel, which we desperately need. And it's difficult, but the other two are very difficult. So this should be uh, the plan when I do do it, to recover the item from the train. I'll probably try to just get him in pretty close. Do I have the ability... It's a lieutenant. He doesn't have enough. That skill that I just gave Martison, the Swedish ninja, makes it where the detection range is a quarter smaller. It'd be nice on him, but he's not ready for it yet. But if nobody noticed, if anybody watches this, his name was Vimo, and he has the sulky uh, down on his luck. It gave him hard luck, so that's why he's sulking. That's why he changed his nickname to Emo. It rhymes of Emo, he sulks. Vimo the Emo. <laughs> anyway, I feel like tonight was rather productive. Made some progress, set the uh, Avatar project back a little. But I need to advance up to uh, Northeast America so I can attack that facility or at least Skulljack an officer so I can get the next objective, which is Skulljack a Codex, which once you do that, it brings an avatar into the battlefield, which I want to say lowers two or three points the avatar track. So until next time.